You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD. Hello viewers, now this being 2012, you might be thinking we're going to be showing you a little small hatchback, a little bit of an eco box because it's greener. Now that's not the case today. We have the Infiniti QX56. And there are a few problems to start with. Now, as you might notice, it's, well, not a looker. It's got a few things like huge door mirrors, huge wheels, and a huge engine. Huge wheels, since it's off-roading and all of that, it's four-wheel drive. It's got the huge wheels. Now, the tires are a bit skinny, so that might get a bit wary. But the biggest problem of them all is the size. I mean, look at it. It's huge. But to fix that, there is one little thing. For parking, you have cameras all around. As you can see, there's a camera right here, there's one on the other side, just to give you a panorama of everything around. Now, since this is a huge beast, you're gonna need a lot of power to move it and don't even talk about fuel economy here. So for this, we have a 5.6 liter V8 pushing out 400 horsepower and enough torque to move a small moon. Now, this is all very pretty, but fuel economy wise, sort of takes you down a little bit. So in the end, it's really good just to get off road, not too much because of the wheels, but it's really good just to move around the town in pure luxury and time. Now, all this talk about size brings me to another point, the size of the trunk. Now, when you talk about the size of the trunk, usually you think of, oh great, this is gonna be huge on the outside and small on the inside, and it's not so different here. The thing about it is, it's got seven seats. You can take seven people comfortably because of the leather seats and all of that, but if you need a little bit more space, you can drop the rear seats down and the other rear seats for extra storage space for everything. Now, one of the great things about it is, that you can take down all the seats, put everything in there, take it out, take it all the way to home, and then put them all back up and take the family out on a series of events, like going to the club or anything. Now, this is gonna be great, so you should look at it. Some of the things I've noticed here that, well, one of the greatest things in here is that it makes you feel like you're in just pure luxury. I mean, the car is big, but you feel cocooned in here. It sort of tightens you up. Now, there is a GPS system, very sophisticated. It's not really hard to manage to use. It's one of the least complicated systems I've ever met. Now, another one of the greatest things I've, had, I've seen in here, well, for this SUV is 
it gives you a range over here of how long you have in the tank, even though this is not an ego car. It has sort of those things. It makes you feel like you're not bothering the planet, yet you are. Now, over here we notice that there's anything you can see in here, you can notice it's gonna be in a luxury plane, a personal jet. I mean, this, if you can see the Rolls Royce, you have sort of this clock over here that says infinity in it. Rolls Royce is a little bit more round, but it's still sort of like that. Now, climate control. It's all there, it's all over here, and it's not complicated to use. Now, the gearbox. One of the greatest things about that is it's a seven speed. Now, everything in here, great. Everything feels great. There's many buttons that do many things, such as, well, this one right here. You can actually have a conversation. There's Bluetooth. There's, basically, you can actually call anyone from, in a phone, in a phone distance, of course, from the car. Now, over here, we have a place to put your sunglasses. You won't need them but they're nice. And I do apologize for the bit of a ride. This is not the greatest neighborhood to be doing this, but it's great. So aside from all of this, is there a need for such a big car in today's economy? Maybe not, but to be, to be sure that there is one, if you actually want one, that's a good feeling. So in the end, if you want one, if you're in need of one, you can get one. And this one's good. So, to be honest, you should get it if you have the money for it. This is Sebastian Manzoni. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. You're watching Garage TV. That unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD.